Hey everybody, uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Want to do a quick update here around uh, 1 a.m. before I head to bed. Um, just a little update on what's happening. You can see the storm system evolving, taking shape. Massive low pressure system deepening. The good news, I, I would say, with the severe weather risk is kind of what I expected. It's mainly staying south of our area, but heads up, Midlands of South Carolina, down towards the low country, then eventually out towards eastern North Carolina. I think that's the area we're going to have to watch for severe weather. Could some sneak up our way? Um, it's certainly a possibility, but I think the overall risk is looking pretty low. There's just not the low-level fuel uh, for this storm to build off. But what's really going to be fascinating is to watch who gets the heavy snow, because I think it's going to be a hit-or-miss kind of scenario. Uh, we've seen some really good amounts. I've been watching some of the feeds coming out of northern Alabama, um, three, four, even five inches of snow on the ground near the Tennessee-Alabama border. So that's a pretty good indication of what's heading towards the, the mountains uh, later tonight. Uh, real quickly, just to sh show you that tornado parameter, um, the areas that we're watching, you could still see Sherall, Rockingham, kind of that area that's close enough right in there that we that you know four or five in the morning there is some risk of an isolated spin up there but uh, i don't know if this is going to be able to be tapped into i just don't see things unfolding the way um, that we normally would see for severe weather there's a boatload of wind shear so it's not going to take much so here's a look at the future cast i'll play it out here through 2 a.m 3 a.m um, you see some of the heavier storms off to the southeast and again i uh, see where the temperatures spike up into the mid 60s there from wadesboro to rockingham that's the area to watch because um, some of these storms right there could be interesting, but you see the cold air is already coming in on the back side here So it's hard to get severe weather any farther north than that um, But we already see the snow moving into the mountains by this time and again that snow is going to be it's going to be a burst It's going to change over and be Dumping snow real quickly wet heavy snow for three four hours and then it's out here um, Even across the Piedmont a quick burst of snow out now the realm of possibility, but Nothing's going to stick, and look at the temperatures falling throughout the day. So the high temperature has already happened. It happened at midnight, um, 12.01, when I think it was 60 degrees. Um, I'm still sticking with our forecast here. Um, these totals probably are going to be a little less in some locations. It's going to be really isolated amounts in the higher elevations. I can't emphasize enough to the wind threat because um, even outside of the thunderstorms, we could see some really strong winds gusting to 40 or 50 miles per hour, even on the backside of the low. Because I've seen some wind damage reports coming out of Florida and down in southern Georgia um, on the backside of this system. So it's certainly something to watch for, um, almost like a sting jet kind of set up there uh, going into early. So the winds will probably be the biggest story for most areas. And travel concerns, if you're going by road, probably not a great morning to be going through the mountains or anywhere up into Virginia. I definitely expect it to be rough going up in that area. But real quickly, I want to show you just how cold the temperatures are going to be tomorrow. Um, you can see how temperatures will be falling throughout the day. So this is why the high has already happened. If, if it hasn't happened, it's going to happen in the next couple of hours and then cool off into the 30s. Of course, we'll keep things up, up to date. Chris and Larry will be here in about another hour um, with updates for the morning um, for Wake Up Charlotte. So make sure you tune in for that and we'll keep you up to date on what's happening. But again, um, here's a little recap. There's the storm system heading our way. Uh, first legit snow chances of the season for the mountains everybody else we're getting back to some average winter weather finally here in the Carolinas